here with the Soul Snatcher, Paul Hills. Paul, how you doing? Yeah, I'm buzzing, thank you, mate. Fight day uh, versus John Collier. How you? How has training gone for this? Yeah, training's gone good. Uh, I always make sure that my boxes are ticked in camp. Um, yeah, getting down to 76 was a nice little extra sort of uh, sharpening on, on the camp, which we've done well. We made weight this morning at 75 points, I think. So I'm happy with that. Shows my commitment again um, and my professionalism. Um, I'm here to do a show and uh, put a good job on and, uh, yeah, get a confident win. This is a fight from both of you which is characterised by hard work and boxing IQ. What can the fans expect to see tonight? Um, it's one of them things where styles make fights and obviously John's very good at his style and what he does. Um, I've got my own sort of style and what I do. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, uh, I don't know what it's going to bring but it will bring fireworks, I believe. Last time John came out, fight of the night, he's looking to make a statement, but you are as well, it seems like. Yeah, every, in, every, in every fight, not just on this fight, in every fight I like to come out to make a statement. Um, fight of the night's a figure I've won a couple of times, and credit to Johnny's last fight um, for getting fight of the night. But yeah, tonight's not going to be his night. Your record is uh, in BKB 6-4, six, six knockouts. Yep. Are you looking to get the knockout again? To believe it or not, I never look for a knockout. Um, but I do throw with bad intentions, and you know, if, if I'm given my chance, then uh, if, if if I land on you, mate, then I'm putting you out, you know. And that's bare knuckle, isn't it? Like th yeah, those that's, that's the ruthlessness of the game. That's the attraction um, for a lot of fighters, for myself included, is that you know they say you got a puncher's chance. Well, in bare knuckle, that's even more of a chance. <laughs> this is your thirteenth fight. Mm -hmm. What's different this time around that we perhaps haven't seen from you before? Um, who knows? We'll have to see tonight exactly what it's going to bring. But all I know is that when I tick myself away into camp, lock myself away, do the mumps away from the bright lights, it's to improve, it's to bring more to my game. Um, and obviously, fight night's the time that us as fighters get to showcase it. And this camp, like every camp, it seems like you've thrown everything into it. Talk to me about that. Yeah, I mean, it's something where I'm not just plodding along to try and sort of survive or try and, you know, make whatever, just get more fights under my belt. I want to succeed in what I'm doing, so I, I put in the extra work to hopefully get the result. Obviously, I lost my last fight against Matt Phillips. Yeah, it was BYB, but it's irrelevant. It's still a loss. So this is I want to come on with an improved style, improved fighter, and uh, obviously with that improvement comes the win, you know? Are you perhaps more driven then to get the win this time, coming back off, off of a loss? I'm always driven. I'm always driven. In bare knuckle, the win or loss can be taken away from you uh, just with a flip of a coin. So it's not that having a loss will drive me more at all. Um, but obviously it's all a positive sort of energy to want to, to wanna come back from a loss. Do you get what I mean? Like I said, 13th fight, you know, you're a veteran in the game now. I appreciate that. But there is something about the O2, being here and being around the atmosphere that gets you excited, right? Yeah, yeah, this is home. This is home, obviously, to London and home to Burn Uncle. Tricky, 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 tricky. I feel very comfortable. <laughs> I feel very comfortable fighting here in front of London people. Um, and I love it. Do yeah, I love it. I love it to, um, to 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 perform in front of Londoners, and obviously I'm a Londoner myself. So yeah, it, is, it adds to the buzz, and it's the home of BKB. And you know, you're fighting in front of a home crowd. You're a bit of a fan favourite. Do you feel that when you're fighting? No, do you know what? I don't. Feel, I don't look past. I don't look at what I get out of it. I am I, a, you know, crowd favourite or what? But it's been said from a lot of people and. Uh, yeah, the, the fans are showing me love and it is really nice. And I do like to put on a good performance if I'm making people happy with, you know, just, just with what we're bringing. So uh, I would like to, uh, I'd like to keep it up, to be fair with you. I do like the fact that the fans are now sort of touching out to me, reaching out to me, speaking to me and uh, hitting me up on social medias and things like that. Um, yeah, it's, it's a positive feeling, you know. Yeah. Oh.
Paul. This fight is going to be a banger. Best of luck to you. I appreciate it. Can I just give a shout out to my yeah. sponsors, please, bro? I'd like to shout out Essex Flute Company, um, Dan in Essex. They do uh, chimney sweeping and anything to do with uh, chimneys and anything like ventilation. Please give them a shout. And obviously CMOS Professional, that's my CMOS supplier, um, BoxFit UK, um, and Ringmaster Jim as well, Dan in uh, Rayleigh. All, all massive parts of my camp, and I'd like just to thank everyone for my support. That's a lot. Okay, guys, we're going to start the weigh-in in five minutes. 